We are back with more Pokemon Blue. So, last time we beat the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town, and I left off in the dude's house after I got the Poke Flute. And why am I starting at the Pokemart? Because, in Celadon City, because I want to get something real quick from just outside of Celadon City. Um, I forgot to get this while I was here, so... I want to go ahead and get it now, and this video is going to be a lot of just taking care of crap, really. Um, go around here, about by this dude, and yeah, that's cycling robe below us, and we're going to take care of something else. Can I get it, please? Please tell me, I'd, yay, I don't have to deposit anything first, or use anything. Okay, I got it. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Shut up. So, HM2. We're going to use it. Yes, I want to teach it. And teach it to Spiro. That's why I caught the Spiro so long ago. For fly. Can I use it yet? I don't remember. I do not remember if I can use it. Because I want to fly somewhere. I want to fly to Vermilion. Yay, it works. It's going to make things a lot quicker. And I need to deposit HM2 now into the PC because I don't need it. I needed it for about five seconds, and then now I'm through with HM2. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, do I have anything else I can deposit? Hmm. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nah, oh well. Okay, so, at least I have room in my inventory now, because I need to go down here to what's-his-name's place, Pokemon Fan Club, that's where I need to be, it's the happening place right now, talk to him, and he chairs the fan club, and once I say he wants to hear about my about his Pokemon, he's going to uh, ramble on about Rapidash, which I can't really talk about rambling because I do it all the time. Alright, you're kind of creeping me out about your Rapidash here. So, why don't you give me a bike voucher and go sleep with your Rapidash? Thank you. Well, my Spiro will fly me anywhere. But now I need to fly to Cerulean. Uh, yeah, he has a Furo and a Rapidash. Sounds kind of a, like a good combination. Maybe you should start doing some gym battles or something. I want to go to Cerulean. Wasn't it higher up? There it is. I was trying to get to the middle one. The middle one is not Cerulean. I don't know why I was sitting there thinking it was. But to Cerulean. And I don't remember what place it is. Is it, the, is it this one? Bike Shop, yes. This is the one I need to go to. Oh, that's a bike voucher. <gasps> oh, I thought I could just exchange the bike voucher. You know what? Screw burn heels. I'll get some later if I need them. I am horrible at managing items. See, exchange the bike voucher for a bicycle. Why couldn't I do that? All right, now I can go to Cycling Road, which is cool. That's handy. But what I want to do now... It's another little thing. I want to fly back to, what was it, Lavender. Because south of Lavender, there is a new Pokemon that I want to catch. And, yeah, it's probably not a mystery of what it is, so... I'm not going to say what it is, but... You probably already know. It's not a huge mystery or surprise or anything. But I'm going to have to fight a couple of trainers. I'm going to try to avoid all the trainers I can on the way here. But uh, I think there's two that I have to fight. So let's uh, get started as I mess with the microphone. Goldeen, you little POS and your, with your peck. Goldeen is an evil water type for bugs. Because it's going to use peck, yes. Yes, I hate you, Goldeen. You are going to die a very bug-filled death. 
There we go. A critical hit when he had like one health left. That's awesome. Good job. And now Polywag. Let's use some Twin Needle on Polywag. I'm letting Beedrill hog the experience now, but it's the quickest way, really, to get past these. So. About to use Goldeen. What level is Butterfree? Oh, Butterfree's 34, too. But right now, Butterfree's my... I don't want to say most versatile, but it might be my strongest because Psychic moves are so powerful in this game. I mean, the only thing they're not good against, really, are Bugs. So, it's really strong. Just get rid of the Goldeen. Get some get some experience for Butterfree. Oh, I thought he would level up. Fake me out there. Alright, so I can go past him. And, um, oh, I almost had to fight him too. That would have been an accident. Oh, man. I didn't mean to fight him. I wasn't paying attention. Did he just call me a Pokemon fool? I think that's what that said. We'll see who's the fool. Man, I really didn't want to fight him. Ugh, it's annoying. Because I already have one more I have to fight. I didn't have to fight this dude, so... How many did he have? I didn't even look at how many Pokemon he had. Was that the only one? Oh, Vigil grew to level 35. Good. Oh, agi oh, agility. Nah. No, I don't want agility. Leave me alone. Hey, that was his only one. All right, that's that's okay. I didn't waste that much time on him. Um, is there somebody else down here? Yes, there's a guy right there. Let's just avoid. No, avoid him. Go up and around. And oh, what is this? What is this mysterious fat thing blocking the way? I wonder. It's a sleeping Pokemon. How do we wake up sleeping Pokemon? Well, we use this Pokeflute. Yeah, I know throughout this Let's Play I haven't really described anything or explained anything, but I'm not actually... Um, uh, how do I say it? I'm doing this as like a challenge Let's Play and... I kind of figured if people are watching this, then they kind of know what's going on. So, I don't really need to explain everything. So, that's why I haven't explained much. So, and that's how it will continue to be. So, yeah. Uh, and he used rest, of course. Uh, rest is so annoying. Can you do a little bit more damage than that? I don't think he can. I'm going to go ahead and switch to Beedrill. Beedrill will do more damage, I think. Uh, let's use Twin Needle. I don't really know if that was more damage, but um, now he's poisoned and confused, I think. Oh, no, he's not. But he did use Headbutt. And that did some serious damage. Uh, I wish he was still confused. He's probably going to use rest on this turn. He'd be stupid not to use... Oh, he used amnesia. Sweet. I'm not really concerned with catching him. Because, yeah, he's not a bug, so... I have no reason to catch him. I'm not trying to fill out my Pokedex or anything, so... Goodbye, Snorlax. Return to the mountains. Um, okay, continue on down. I have to fight this dude, but... I believe he has electric stuff, so I'm going to switch to Parasect. And it should take care of him pretty quickly. Electricity is his specialty. Thank you for letting me know. And he only has two Pokemon. That's good. Oh, Volt Oh, his other one's probably like a Magnemite or a Electrode or something. Oh, he used Self-Destruct. What a little pansy. He just ran from Parasect. No, I'm not changing. Send out Electrode all you want. And he used Self-Destruct. What the hell? Are they just scared? 
Does he know he intentionally lost that? Wow, okay. Very good strategy, Rocker. I don't know why you would self-destruct your last Pokemon, knowing that the other person has, like, five left. So, all right, but I'm going to switch to Beedrill up front again. And I think that's the last guy I have to fight on the way to where I want to go. Let's go, let's go. Let's keep rolling. And there it is. That's where I want to go. So let's get to the, the little tree thing here and cut it down. And this is where I want to go. So I will cut until I find that Pokemon and hopefully catch it because I think I only have one Pokeball. So, see you guys in a second. Finally, after about three, four minutes or something, a wild Venonat has appeared. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. And I switched Butterfree out front because I want to use Stun Spore. Make sure he's paralyzed and make him easier to catch. Now I'm going to switch to Beedrill. And, oh, okay, good. But I'm going to use Poison Sting. This should just kind of whittle it down. So it don't disable Poison Sting. Okay, good. I don't know how the other moves will do, but I don't trust them, so. Fury Attack's too unpredictable. And I don't know if Twin Needle, Twin Needle I mean, and Pin Missile would kill him or not. But he is down to a little piece of health. He is paralyzed. It is time to use our only Great Ball, which I can buy plenty now in Lavender Town, and I guess Celadon City too, but... Oh well, we have caught Venonat. Alright. No, no nickname. And now let's just fly straight to Celadon. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video maybe a little early, I don't know. Let's go in here. Uh for now I don't really need let's see, hmm. Yeah, I don't really need Squirtle right now. I will later, definitely. But I'm gonna take out Venonat. Uh do I need to deposit any no I no I want items. Do I need to deposit any items? I don't think so. And no, I need my bicycle. I need my fresh water. But uh let's let's heal right quick. That's what I need to do. Yeah, I wanted to get Venonat before I went on Cycling Road because Venonat should be very useful, or at least, maybe not useful, but be able to get a lot of experience on Cycling Road. And I'm not sure if the game audio is up loud enough. I guess I'll find out when I, when I uh, get the video edited. And I really hope cutting out looking for Venonat does not desync the audio, because that's a huge pain. I even left the trip to the Pokemon Center in one time because it was just too much of a pain to take out about 25 seconds or however much it was. So, because it desynced the audio. Yeah, I'm not an editing expert by any means or even really good at editing or decent at it. So, alright. The last Snorlax, let's just go ahead and take care of him. Please, I hope this does not take long. Oh, that's not good. And you use Headbutt, that's fine. As long as you don't use Rest, it is all okay. Please don't use Rest. I want to finish this. Please don't use Rest. Please, please, please. I am begging you, Snorlax. I will give you a million pounds of food if you... Yes, he did not use Rest. Oh, I got lucky. I can defeat this Snorlax. They're kind of a pain to catch, too, but, um... Go back to the mountain, Snorlax, and... Oh, I guess I can just go by. Okay, I'm gonna leave. And in the next part, we will take on Cycling Road. 
So I will see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.